Hello YouTube, Tim here, and I'd like to show you one of the projects that I've been working on. Here are several of the bows that I've precision flattened. I've used the jig that I had screws which I could adjust the depth of. I measured the depth with calipers, with calipers and then I uh, flattened the, the bows. So each limb should be identical. One of them is a little bit off. I'm going to reheat it and re-flatten one limb. The problem was not in the jig, it was how I was holding the handle. I w most of them I did on a solid surface. That's a really good idea. Once I tried for that bow, I tried doing it on a counter and dangled the rest of the bow off. Not a good idea. Didn't work out too well. Anyway, we've got several bows to test. Let's start with the very thinnest bow that I made. This is bow number four. Each limb is tapered Here's the center, true center. And by the way, I measured at, and I'm sorry, it might have been Bruce Laberty. Somebody online recommended that I check the, the center to make sure it was still centered after heating and adjusting and flattening everything. It is, at least for the four bows that I did. Everything so far looks really, really good. All I did was I measured true center. I measured two and a half inches on either side, and that's where I put the board. That's where the board started. From that point now, it tapers from the set de uh, depth all the way to basically nothing or as flat as it could reasonably get. The tips then, I carved just simple pin knocks one half inch uh, deep. So we have a string here with adjustable loops. It'll be the same string on all of the bows. Uh, by the way, I left the handles completely round, and I didn't puff up the creases just so we don't get any variation. We want this to be as simple and straightforward as possible. So this is, this is a bow tapered to 17 millimeters. The tiller's pretty darn good right from the get-go. It's a tiny bit off. Let me see if I can just adjust it a touch by hand. No, it's a, just a touch, touch off. I wouldn't be concerned with this if I were using this for a bow, but I do want the results of this to be as good as they possibly can be. On the whole, this is a really nice bow. At least it seems like it is so far. Let's go ahead. Oh, one final note. I put the crease on the back of the bow. The belly is completely continuous from one side to the other. Race height. Seven and a half inches. I can drop that later. Probably I will. We'll do some experiments at different brace heights. But for now, it'll be the same string, same brace height. Here comes the scale. Zero pounds. And ready to go. Tear. So right now it's resting at eight. I'm taking measurements every two inches. Ten inches, six, seven, seven pounds, twelve, eleven pounds, fourteen is fourteen point five, sixteen is seventeen point four. Now let's go back and do it again. Sixteen is seventeen point three five. Eighteen is nineteen point six. Twenty is twenty two point three five. Let's try it again to twenty. Twenty two point two five. Okay, so far that's reasonably consistent. The, the weights are going down a little bit as we use them, but we'll, we'll just bear through it. Let me turn that light back on. Since it's dark right now, we can use all the light we can get. So to 22 inches. Twenty-five pounds. Twenty-four inches. 
28 pounds. Twenty six inches, thirty one point nine five, call it thirty two pounds, and twenty eight inches, which really is uh, AMO twenty nine point seven five. Thirty five point four. Okay, let's go again to 20, 20 uh, 24, and 28, just for measure, for comparison, so we can see how and if the draw weight has changed since the first time. 20 .1, 21 pounds at 20 inches. 24. 27.45 and at 28 inches it is 35 pounds let's try it once more to 28 35 pounds This bow is what I would consider over flattened. I would not normally make bows this flat, but I'm surprised at how resilient it is. This actually could be a defect in the way I build bows. It's entirely possible that because I don't flatten the limbs enough, they don't bend enough, leading to a handle that bends too much. When the handle bends too much, it'll take set. When it takes set, that'll rob performance. Bow number four. Thank you for watching. By the way, let's measure right now, after just taking it off, we have one inch of set. I'll measure this again after, say, an hour or two, and I'll tell you what set is left. But right now, after shooting, one inch of set. Again, thanks for watching.